May 1, 2023, Cloudy. As an architect, my days are filled with meetings. Meetings with clients, meetings with government officials, and site inspections. It's a never-ending cycle of talking and meeting people. After a long day, I came home and tried to play with the neighborhood cat, but it gave me a look of utter disdain. May 2nd, 2023, Cloudy. Today, an old friend visited me and gave me a book. He recommended a design project by RCR in France, a project that I've always wanted to see but never had the chance to. May 3rd, 2023, Sunny. I spent an hour with a friend's child in the square, playing with pigeons. The meaning of a square to people is far greater than what planners imagine. May 4th, 2023, Sunny. Today, I passed by an RCR Design office building in Barcelona. My former boss was a big fan of RCR's designs, so I took the time to study their work in depth. May 5th, 2023, Overcast. Today, I met someone who admires Gaudi's architecture to the point of worship. Undoubtedly, geniuses like Gaudi are rare. However, I also believe that Guil was just as important. Without his support, even Gaudi's most brilliant ideas would have been difficult to realize. May 6, 2023, Sunny. On the train, I witnessed a young French couple in love, kissing affectionately all the way. It made me a little embarrassed, so I had to look out the window. When my colleague got off the train, he said that young people today should think of others more. But I don't think so. Love is a powerful thing, and sometimes people in love can't help themselves. It's those face-to-face -face seats on the train that bother me. May 7, 2023, Rainy. I met an old friend who had moved to the Netherlands. We went to eat Japanese ramen together and talked about old times. Time really does fly by. May 